If you're looking for ideas on what to make for dinner, stop scrolling because today I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and delicious way on how to make arroz con pollo. To get started, rinse one cup of long grain white rice in a colander, place it over a bowl to drain out the excess water and to dry. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Next, we're going to trim off the excess fat and skin from 8 to 10 chicken thighs. You can use chicken thighs, chicken legs, or a combination of both. You also want to use the ones with the bone in because that's what's going to give it more flavor. Generally season each piece front and back with salt, garlic, and pepper. Cover and refrigerate while we chop our vegetables. I'm going to use two medium carrots, half a small white onion, two garlic cloves, half a red bell pepper, one jalapeno, and one cup of frozen unthawed peas. You can also add or take away any other vegetables that you prefer. I also added one serrano pepper to add a little bit of spice to mine. Chop your vegetables into small bite-sized pieces and mince your two garlic cloves. In a large nonstick pan, heat up a small amount of vegetable oil over low to medium heat. If you left the skin on the chicken, place each piece on the pan with the skin down first. Cook for about 8 to 10 minutes on each side over low to medium heat or until it has a nice golden color. Turn them over and cook for an additional 8 to 10 minutes on the second side. Remove the chicken and place it in a bowl. At this point the chicken is not fully cooked but that's okay because it's going to continue to cook once we add it back into the pan with the rice. At this point the rice is now fully dry. Now we're going to take it over to the stove and using the same pan that we fried the chicken in, we're going to lightly fry it for about 5-7 to seven minutes over low medium heat. Once it's lightly toasted, add in the vegetables including the onion and the garlic. Saute for an additional 3-4 to four minutes or until the onion and the garlic are nice and fragrant. Add 2 and a half cups of chicken broth. For seasonings, I'm going to use 2 packets of Sazon Goya. This contains achiote which is going to give our rice a nice orange color. You can also use chicken or tomato bouillon. I'm also going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of Mexican oregano. Mix in the seasonings. At this point, you can also taste the broth to see if it's to your liking. And if it needs more seasoning, you can add salt. I ended up using about half a teaspoon of this adobo seasoning. Add the chicken back into the pan with the rice and don't forget to add your peas, which I almost did. I'm going to pour it over the chicken and mix it in with the rest of the ingredients. Cover and simmer on low heat for 15 to 20 minutes. I have a digital stove and I have mine set at 2.6. After 15 to 20 minutes, turn off the burner but keep it covered for an additional 15 more minutes. With the amount of ingredients we use, this can feed a family of six. But if you don't have a large family like mine, you can always save the leftovers for next day's lunch. Enjoy it by itself or with your favorite side dish. In this case, we're going to enjoy it with a side of frijoles rancheros. And enjoy!